Hello peeps, James Atkins Fishing here again. I'm going to show you how to look after your pole. Uh, I've seen this on YouTube by others, but just in case you haven't seen them people on YouTube, I'll show you how, what they show me how to look after your pole, because they're expensive bits of kit, so you've got to look after them, because not everybody can afford to replace them just like that, you know, just through neglect really. I'll catch you and I'll show you how to do it. Right, what I do next is give it a wipe down because I don't expect you can see it on camera how wet it was from when I left it Tuesday and I've been a bit lazy and it was blowing an absolute gale around here the last two days. So what you do is give it a nice gentle wipe down So you can't dry the tubes, I don't know how you dry them. If you take it inside for a little while, leave it indoors near the heating. So you dry all the sections first. I expect they're wet inside, but I mean you just have to leave them laying like this for a day or two. I saw it in the summertime if you get get wet, because then in the summertime they dry fairly quickly, but at the moment this time yeah, it's absolutely freezing outside as well. What we got now is uh, 10 to 3 at the minute. So I'll get these all done and then I'll go indoors and make a curry. I've got it all set ready. All I've got to do is go in and start cooking it. So you've got to look after these things. As I said a little while ago, they're not cheap, so look after them. Right, that's them all wiped down. Now, obviously in the sections, if I can find a smaller cloth, just Blue Peter one here, look one I prepared earlier. Just stick it in there as far as you can in each section so you don't get... There's nothing worse when you put a section together and you hear you hear any sort of gritty sound of, oh no, because I'll mess it up. You don't want to... See now if I look at that, see look how dirty that one was. Just in there, like crikey. I suppose you could put something on the cloth so you can get it down there a bit further. What's that one like? Oh, it's not too bad, that one. Because the longer sections you put together, they tend to stay longer, but that's the um, two and three sections you change more and often, because, you know, you can pull it back to your top kit. And then that, now the other little trick is, which is my other blue piece sitting here, is, I was taught on there, if I can get it out, there's a candle. No, not four candles. <laughs> With Ronnie Barker and that. It's one of these, just a little candle. Now obviously you're gonna keep changing more often than not with these sections. It's your top two kit and they say you just rub a little wax along the, the sections like that. With a nice soft wax. Give it a nice gentle rub. Like that, and done. So them two sections will be used more than anything because that's for the top kit. And then what it always said, um, don't, don't forget, is just gently wipe off the excess. I'll pause that for a second while I get a top kit out. See how that feels. Right, I, I got a top section out, out of this case over there. Then when you put that together, what well, sound better, much better. It doesn't sound dry if that makes sense. I expect you know all you pole anglers know that you can you can tell when it's smoother. That's much better. So I stand the top kit over here. Then I'll show you what else they told me how to clean stuff with. Right, what the boys recommend is baby wipes. They said there's nothing better. So you just peel a baby wipe out and just run them down your sections nice and gentle. Like that on each section. I 
but don't rub the wax off, which I just put on there. Just let that stand down now. It should dry fairly quickly. As, they were, as the sections were all very, very wet when I wiped them down, that's actually cleaned them up a bit as well, but you still get a little bit of fish slime on them. So I won't do that male section there because I'm now going to wax that one as well because it won't hurt to wax them all. But as you see me do one, I don't need to show you how to wax them all. You just do them gently. Don't rub too hard. Because we all like our poles. I mean, a lot of you out there might not like my MTX1 power pole. You might have your own poles, but... Then you get these and just rub them down like that. Get that look nice and clean. That one's starting to dry already, so I haven't got to wait too long. And I'll do these sections in a minute. Quite cold in here. <laughs> and I've lined the, the shed as well. It's still cold in here, my God. I well, won't we'll be fishing today. I don't know whether you can hear it on camera, but I'll take you to the door in a minute and show you why I'm in here. <laughs> it's not too bad, obviously clean. Oh, I don't know though. <laughs> Bit grubby. You just go over with a baby wipe. Any baby wipes will do. Look at that, it's like new. Oh, and that's how dirty it was. Look, you see me wipe it down once with a wet cloth or dry it off because they were so wet. So it shows you how dirty they do get. And as you can see, it's my MTX1 power. Good old cart pole. Oh, poof. right, I'm now going to wax the other. One, two, three, four. I'm now going to wax the other five sections. All right, be back with you in a minute. Right, that's all the sections done. Let's just have a feel. Let's see how they feel. feel much smoother oh yeah a lot better so that's well worth doing that and if you do it yourselves at home you'll feel a difference right away so that's pretty good set them out they're nearly dry I'll give them a wipe over and I'll get back to you in a second right that's that essential job done let's have a good look see what they look like look at them don't they look like brand new See the number of the sections on it? Turn them all round so you can see them all. Three, four, five, six, seven, and the top section. So have a good look, and I just done the top kit and waxed it as well. All right, so that's just a short video to show you boys. You probably all know, but it don't matter. Uh, this will give you something to watch while it's absolutely throwing it down out there. And before you ask, yes, my shed is carpeted. <laughs> I have got carpet in there because this is what it's doing outside. Then my water butt set there is absolutely pouring it down and blowing a gale again. Right. So I hope that's all helped you boys and, and girls I must say now because there is a lot of girls now starting to do some fishing and good of them too. Catch you soon in my next adventure. Um, I'll check my computer see where that is. Bye bye for now.